health alert tonight. New fears over the flu. The CDC says it's off to a quick start this season. It seems to be a nasty bug. Seven states are already reporting widespread flu activity. Right now, Michigan is not among them. But our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, is here with what we're up against this year. It seems to get worse every year. It does, Linda. Okay. And as flu season actually is gaining speed much quicker than usual, especially for those living in the South. Seven children have died and over 80, 850 flu-related hospitalizations have been reported by the CDC as of December 2nd. Unfortunately, less than half of Americans have received the flu vaccine and so far roughly 39%. This is concerning because the flu can have serious complications, as we know, like pneumonia, bronchitis, sinus, and ear infections. You know, it's, it's important stuff. All right, so is it still important, though, to get the flu shot? despite the fact that we're hearing that shot may be not as effective as in some previous years. I was asked by my patients that mm -hmm. today, so we may have a rougher flu season, David, this year, as preliminary estimates show that the vaccine may be roughly 10% effective, but it's still early in the season, and the vaccine could still help lessen the severity of the flu and help protect against serious complications. So everyone should do their part to protect themselves and their loved ones from catching the flu. So here are my prescriptions, number one, we recommend that everyone aged six months and older should get the flu shot. It takes a few weeks before antibodies are produced, but you'll be ready when Christmas arrives, and that's when the flu season really picked up last year in Michigan. Also, boost your immune system by eating a variety of plant-based foods along with nuts, seeds, lean protein, and whole grains. They'll provide you with essential vitamins and minerals that can strengthen your immune system, reduce inflammation, and allow your body to fight off germs more easily. Also, please, if you do get sick, Please stay home for at least 24 hours after your fever breaks. Disinfect commonly used surfaces to lower the risk of getting other loved ones sick. And lastly, practice good hand washing techniques. Can't say this enough, as this helps keep germs from spreading. spreading. Use soap and water and scrub for 20 seconds. So we know seniors and kids are some of our most vulnerable and they are prone to the most complications, but there's pregnant women on that list too, right, Doc? Absolutely, okay. it's a great question. So pregnant women, especially in their second and third trimester, are very, very vulnerable to complications from the flu. If a pregnant woman gets a flu shot, there's evidence that they may also protect their newborns from the flu in the first six months of life. So right now, only about one third of pregnant women have uh, received the flu shot, according to the CDC. So, you know, we've got a lot of work to do and people are dying. That's the mm. key. You know, we can prevent that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good advice as always. Yeah. My pleasure. Have Thank a good you, weekend. And don't be scared to go to the doctor, right? That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome.